Hello and welcome to another episode at the Learn to Code Academy. My name is Williams and in this particular um, video I want to show you guys a little functionality that I've been working on. Um, this is a little game idea that I've been kind of rolling with and uh, it's a game concept at this stage. It doesn't really play as such but it does a few things. So the main thing I want to show you guys is the physics, the kind of physics engine that I am kind of fleshing out here so as you can see the assets are rough everything's draft you know um but the key thing is i have a, a kind of world physics framework in place whereby where my character um this character on the screen is running around um she can drop from this platform and she will land underneath and she will land land soundly and this is according to the world physics that i that i'm currently building because nothing is hard coded per se everything is done on the fly in terms of dynamically allocating um specific um assets are recognized as ground what do i mean by that we're going to delve into the code in a little bit um but as you can also see i have parallax scrolling um working here as well um and it's interesting because with the methodology that i went through it's a combination of parallaxing and world physics that keeps the character in check as she um, traverses the terrain. And if she falls, <laughs> she drops. So yeah, um, just a demonstration here of what's going on. Uh, I also had uh, running here a... Um, I tried to implement a linear... Oh, what's it called again? Linear interpolation on the camera. And I think I implemented it to just a little degree so that there is a tad bit of, of linear interpolation, but it's so subtle, you can barely see it, but it's not as rigid as the parallax camera was at first. So without much further ado, let's let's cut straight into the code. Um, yeah, so we're gonna have a little look at what's going on here. I wanna draw your attention to the world physics. So um, I do apologize, my computer is being a little bit slow, so please bear with me. So, so far, um, long story cut short, I have here a call to a function, or should I say a function called moveset action. And at any point, if my character is recognized as walking right, then the methodology I have for the physics is that I implement a physics function on some object. So by this, I mean, if you consider physics moving forward, you know, um, if you abstract physics as gravity, up thrust of the, you know, the counterbalance of the ground against your weight going down via gravity, you running forward, you could think of that as a function being applied to some object you know, some assets in the game. So I have abstracted this into physics, um, whereby I have a physics engine class. And in the physics engine class, depending on the mass, um, so the mass of the character, so in this context, it's the player. And yeah, so depending on the, on the mass of the player, not the mass itself, but I can implement the mass as a parameter of, you know, maybe like gravity force speed. But in this context, all I say is, if mass is airborne, then gravity is applied and 1G is just one for now. Uh, and I have the same for upthrust. So I have a bit of functionality here abstracted for upthrust. So this function, funnily enough, is actually applied to any ground rectangle. And this opens up a whole world of possibilities because now I have a function which I can dynamically apply to any which control I, I desire, which in this case is a um, is a rectangle and the which I call ground as a as a past parameter. And canvas is simply just mass, so my player in this context. So what I do as gravity is acting upon my player, I stabilize the game mass by um, counterbalancing that um, 1G with minus 1G, and thus I have a stable, a stable character player. And in the main window class, where uh, everything's tied to the UI, uh, all this comes together uh, in the physics method. And um, yeah, so just to abstract all of that information, 
I parse it all in here in this physics um, physics method. And so far, because the game is so basic, all it apply, all it really does is left right action of running and falling over <laughs> when you go off a platform. So that's all it does. But it's these basic archetypes that really pave the way for all sorts of possibilities that you can do. And um, yeah, it's very exciting, actually. It's just very time consuming as one person to kind of build a game like this or build a world like this, but it's very rewarding at the same time. I might as well draw your um, attention quickly to the input parser because I think this is quite an interesting um, class. So I had to create a stack which basically recognizes um, at each tick of my main clock what key is being pressed. And depending on what key is being pressed, then the action is buffered. And this took a little bit of doing, but because I've, I've written uh, input classes or input functionalities in the past before, but I think this is probably the cleanest one I've done so far um, because I've had more than one try at implementing the functionality. So now I've kind of got the hang of it. Uh, I can kind of build another one from scratch, so on and so forth, and they will probably incrementally get better in some way, shape or form. So I have my uh, input class there, character move set. What is this again? Let me see what this is. Uh, okay, so I'm basically just loading the assets, the art assets in this class. And yeah, this is just a really bare bones um, demonstration of basic physics being applied to your, to your scene, uh, if I may call um, the window a scene. Um, yeah, <laughs> so if I kind of come to the left here, let me see what's here. So I have my frame counter, which is kind of tied to um, the control, the container in the background. So that's why it's just there. And um, yeah, this has just been a fun little project so far. Uh, as I've been doing other projects, such as some of my UI stuff you may have seen on the channel. And um, look out for this one, because I do intend to expand on this, on this kind of game concept some more. Uh, feel free to check out the Instagram, Learn to Code Academy, uh, where we're going to be, where, or should I say, where I'm going to be, you know, sharing snippets of um, my coding journeys, you know, different things and whatnot. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.